Hey y'all. Dan at Home in the Sticks was asking people how they store their seeds. And uh, I, he won't comments below on his video. And I thought, as I posed to type it out, I thought, oh my gosh, I could just do this easier as a video. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, this is my box right here. It's just a Sterlite cheap box with a lid that I got at uh, Walmart. And this is what I store seeds in for the most part. I have been known to go to the, uh, oh, I need to reseal that one. Um, what's it call it? Dollar General store. About this time of year, you can catch all sorts of seeds on sale. And I'm probably not going to do it this year because I've got, as you can see, quite a few seeds in here. Um, everything from flowers uh, to vegetables. And um, I've also got stuff I bought online, um, black eyed peas. And these all came from Patriot Supply, uh, Baker's Creek. Uh, so I've got some. I thought I had some purple hull peas in here somewhere. Those will probably be planted next year. But anyway, leave them up front so I can see them. For the most part, this is how I store my seeds. I keep this case in uh, a dark closet that stays cool. Um, not going to take y'all in that closet because that's a scary place. So um, I don't like to go in there myself unless I have to. I at one time used to keep uh, some in the freezer. And I've read somewhere that you know, because these are, these are, you know, these things are alive. Uh, so you really, you know, I don't, I don't think it would be a good idea to keep them in there for a prolonged period. So I took them out. I, I used to have them vacuum sealed. Now I know you can keep them in an airtight container, but I think sucking all the air out of them, I thought that can't be a good deal either. So I stopped doing that and opened them up. I think I got something out of this bag earlier this year, probably some cucumbers or something. Okay, but this is where I keep my store store of excess seeds. And the others, let me cut you off and take you over there. I hope I can get enough light. So hang on a minute. Okay, here's where I keep my other seeds. We got this little miniature fridge that we keep, we just keep for drinks and stuff, but the top rack is perfect for my open seeds that I've been using uh, throughout the gardening season. So I just shove them in there. In fact, I, I've always kept this bag of seeds, uh, sorry, in here. Uh, some of these seeds I've actually had for years uh, and they still have sprouted for me. Um, some of these things moved over from our loca other location 20 years ago <laughs> when we moved into this house. And I just didn't do a garden for so long. I was trying to find some that I know. Yeah, the butter crunch lettuce. That's uh, that's from 20 years ago. I planted that this spring. It sprouted, no problem. Uh, I was trying to see if there's anything else, uh, anything that says gurney on it. Pretty much. Haven't done the pumpkins. I don't know if those are still good or not. I just don't have room for pumpkins. So anyway. That's how I store my seeds, in a box, in a dark closet, and also in the refrigerator, if they've been open. So, um, I'm always open to suggestions and welcome for somebody to teach me something if I'm doing something wrong. I don't know about, like I said, I'm not sure about freezing them, but this has worked for me so far. Anyway, how do you store your seeds? Let us know. Love to hear from the rest of y'all. 